everybody. Welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D-Lo and I've got another Funko Pop unboxing video for you guys. And I'm going to be showing you guys a 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive Funko Pop, a Golden Boba Fett. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of fun for me because I've always loved the character Boba Fett. I know many of you guys have as well. It's the mystery, it's the mystique behind him. Um, it's where does he come from, what is his world like, and now that we've had things like the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, elegantly put together by Dave Filoni for us, um, we're all really excited for The Mandalorian coming up on Disney Plus streaming service, but this is really cool. There was big announcements made regarding um, The Mandalorian, not specifically Boba Fett, but The Mandalorian, who is going to be a new character in the galaxy, played by Pedro Pascal. It's going to be a lot of fun. So to make this video short, I'm just going to go ahead and start opening. Actually, first, let me show you every angle. So we'll show you the front, Boba Fett 2019 Galactic Exclusive. Um, a lot of a lot of really uh, fun things, new, exciting announcements were made there. We got to uh, meet some of the cast. I didn't go to this convention. They've started releasing these Funko Pops at Hot Topic now, so you can get your hands on one of those for just about. Or I'm sorry, it wasn't fun, it wasn't Hot Topic. It was uh, Box Lunch. So in our area, Box Lunch is selling these, and uh, I'm really grateful for that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten a chance to get one of these myself. But you can see all the angles. Very uh, elegant, good looking Star Wars Funko Pop box. Let me go ahead and open this thing up. That way we can start the unboxing. I always try to be very gentle with these things because I want uh, to make sure I preserve the boxes as much as possible. I don't usually keep these things out of their display. In fact, I only keep one outside of its display. It is my uh, Prowler Funko Pop which I unboxed here for you guys on the channel. So let me show you guys, this is what the plastic looks like. I really like these Star Wars Funko Pops because they have a nice plastic black base with the word Star Wars on it with the trademark, um, but it's really cool. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic now for you so you can see this thing. Dude, it's, it's all chromed out with gold, like gold. Look at this thing. I don't even wanna touch it because I don't wanna get my fingerprints all over it. But look how cool this thing looks. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in here for you guys. Take a look at this. It's all bobbling and stuff. I love that. I also That's one of the reasons why I like the stand as well. Because it allows you to feel like you can just let it free stand. Other ones that I have, such as my Prowler Funko Pop, which I leave on my desk. It's the only one I leave on my desk. Um, I'm always concerned that if I bump the desk or something that it's going to wobble and fall over because it's not much of a base. But look at the detail on this thing. Look, you can see the, the jetpack. I'm gonna try to get it a few different angles for you guys, but the jetpack is in full detail. I really like the cape is blowing in the wind. And it's a trip. It's kind of difficult to see because it's all chromed out or rather golded out, but it's all shiny and reflective. There's so much detail on these things. That's one of the reasons why I like Funko Pops. The top has his uh, his sight, his, um, uh, it's not a communicator. The top thing is for um, zooming. Like it's just like a sniper's lens. But you can see there's a dent on the front and that's not damage to the Funko Pop. That's part of Boba Fett's um, thing. I'm gonna try to stop the bobble so we can get in here and get a good angle on that. You can see there's a little bit of a dent. You see right there at the top corner, right there. It's, it's a really nice Funko Pop. I really enjoy this one. And uh, you know what? This one would be one that I would consider to go on my desk because it just chills, just sits right there. It's really comfortable and cool. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out on this thing. All right, we're back. Sweet. And then go ahead and just like take a look. There's the mask we all know and love. It's so great. I love this. I can't wait for The Mandalorian. I know it's gonna be a new take. I know some people are skeptical of Disney. Um, I don't know why people are, are very skeptical of Disney specifically. I know why you'd be skeptical of like Ryan Johnson, for instance, but um, Disney has done a great job with Star Wars. Like if you're a fan of the Clone Wars or if you're a fan of Star Wars Rebels, that has always been a good thing. We've gotten nothing but great content there. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one back in just a second.
Excellent, and we're back. So for $14.99, this was a steal, honestly. I really love this Funko Pop. Boba Fett's one of my favorite Star Wars characters of all time, I know like many of you guys. And I can't wait to watch The Mandalorian. It's gonna be, time-wise, it's gonna be taking place about six or seven years after Return of the Jedi. So before, you know, the First Order had arisen and there was chaos in the galaxy because the Empire had fallen and all these Empire systems or Empire-affiliated systems were um, no longer under the uh, the rule of these systems. So it's gonna be really cool to see um, what's gonna take place in the galaxy with the Mandalorian, on Mandalore hopefully, and then in the Outer Rim as well. So it'll be like a lone gunman, um, you know, on some sort of bounty hunting quest or something like that. Not It's not gonna be Boba Fett, but it's he's gonna be rocking the bucket. He's gonna be in the Mandalorian armor. He's gonna represent that culture. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I have total faith in Jon Favreau and I've got faith in Dave Filoni, who's also making his live action directorial debut, which will be the first time he's ever directed anything in live action. So it'll be really cool. They're both lovers of Star Wars, um, masters of the trade of filmmaking. It's gonna be really cool. And that's November uh, 12th, I believe. And so uh, we'll be able to subscribe to Disney Plus, and then um, for $6.99, we'll get to watch The Mandalorian every week. That'll be a lot of fun. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this Funko Pop. Um, do you guys have any other Funko Pops that were exclusive to the con? Let me know what you guys have down below. What's your favorite Star Wars Funko Pop and why? And are you guys excited for The Mandalorian? And do you think that Boba Fett is going to make a return? Those of us who are true believers know that Boba Fett made it out of that Sarlacc pit. So I'm hoping that we might possibly get some sort of a cameo or a reference to Boba Fett in The Mandalorian, which I have a hard time believing they won't reference. So uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and click notifications. Turn those on so that you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyways, thanks guys. Take care and I will see you guys next time right here on The Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.